What's going on everyone? Water cool fool here. We have some news today as far as NVIDIA drivers. The new NVIDIA driver is going to be 347.52 and they are WHQL certified. We have some improvements and again this is going to be up to set up. Uh, so kind of deal, so I was like, oh, we have up to 7%, for example, and that's what I'm going to say, except I'm going to say 7%, just keep in mind it's up to 7%. Okay, now they have three graphics cards, the 980, the 970, and the GTX 960, which is newly released out there in the jungle, more or less, to buy if anybody's interested. So we're going to go ahead and talk about some improvements that they're talking about. First is going to be the GTX 960, 1920 by 1080. It's going to be 7% for Assassin's Creed, 4% for Far Cry 4. Crisis 3, 3%. 2560 by 1440, 10% for Assassin's Creed Unity. Far Cry 4 is going to be 4%, 3% for Roar Thunder. Next, we're going to have the GeForce GTX 970, 1920 by 1080, 13% for Bioshock Infinite, or Infinite, excuse me. Assassin's Creed Unity, it's going to be up to 12%. Grid Autosport, 12%. 2560 by 1440, Grid Autosport, up to 11%. Assassin's Creed Unity, up to 11%. Bioshock Infinite, up to 8%. 3840 by 2160. Grid Auto Sports going to be 10%, War Thunder 8%, Assassin's Creed Unity up to 7%. Next up, we're going to have the GTX 980, 1920 by 1080, Grid Auto Sport up to 12%, Alien Isolation up to 6%, Dragon Age Inquisition up to 4%, 2560 by 1440 resolution, Metro Last Light up to 10%, Dragon Age Inquisition up to 7%, The Crew 5%. 3840 by 2160 Grid Autosport up to 13%, Dragon Age Inquisition up to 6%, Far Cry 4 up to 6%. And again, this driver is going to be 347.52 and they are WHQL certified. Also, this will be a good time to download these because these drivers are also for the whole new um, Evolve game that is out and everybody's talking about. Now we have some unofficial news so it's not official yet but it more than likely will be true this is from a uh, source on overclock.net he used to be a former employee and um, I'm just gonna go to a um, form posting this is from a forum member and everything like that and this is pretty much what he says I may or may not read everything that he is saying but uh, pretty much he said this is not spam nor is it a jerk of a uh, jerk joke of any sort this is a serious matter that I like to address that has not been released officially to anyone out of respect for privacy I will not be going into detail many people understand I was a frozen CPU employee for almost three years. I love the time I spent there. It was not only fun and enriching experience, but built my work ethic to allow me to become a professional individual through high school. I established unparalleled relationships with my coworkers, many of whom I consider family. The office staff, however, was not the same. The owner has struggled a long time with addiction and events unfolded earlier last week <clears throat> excuse me have rendered the company unoperational and shut down for good physical damage of the warehouse has occurred as well as the dismissal of all support and warehouse staff the company has no plans of re-establishing themselves my initiatives are harmless i want to protect the community that fostered my love for computers and technology from sending payments or sending or spending money on products that will not come some new users excuse me have already caught on to this <clears throat> fact after UPS overnights was not delivered today since all the staff has been fired 
no one or nobody is updating the website to inform the loyal community about the closure nor has anyone taken steps to shut down the website i have no sources and no images and my cre credibility of this testimony rests on my previous employment with the company why i nested this thread in rumors and unconfirmed articles thanks for every uh, basically saying thanks everyone for your time mods if i have done something wrong please pm blah blah blah, blah. do not order from the frozen cpu marketplace as they have closed the doors and will not be shipping product or answering emails and phones and he's basically requesting do not call neighboring businesses to confirm this is unprofessional and unrelated to the business uh, to the company's business please refer to this post those recent uh, confirmation it says yeah this is confirmed not sure what is going to happen now but we have confirmed that frozen CPU is out of business and then we have a What's this going on here? I need to officially retract my statement with respect from closing down line our rep here. We have no official information in that respect. I do apologize for any confusion part of our rep, which was caused of by an informal conversation we had and that should never have been publicly disclosed of someone on the overclock.net forums got in a little trouble because they're probably dispersing uh, a little too much information about the company. So pretty much do not order from frozen CPU because they are closing its doors. I didn't know the owner had an addiction and was running a business. So when you're running a business and you have an addiction, all that money that you're getting in for is pretty much going towards your addiction, I guess. And things will deteriorate and fall apart. And this is probably an example here in my opinion. Again, this is unofficial slash official kind of deal um, don't order from them I know a couple of water cooling stores here in the states that are still operational I know Sidewinder computers uh, they went out of business and then Xide went out of business for a little bit uh, crazy PCs they went out of business I know Petra they went out of business too and they got either owned by frozen CPU or performance PCs I'm not sure but I do know the businesses that are still operational are performance PCs, which I have ordered from, and then also Cooler Tech, who I've ordered from as well. He's a really good guy and everything like that. Um, so as far as I know, he's still up and operational, so go ahead and hit up CoolerTech.com or performance PCs for your water cooling needs. I guess that's it. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be an extremely long video, and I do apologize. Hopefully it doesn't go over more than 10 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate, you know, you know, kind thoughts and everything like that. I'm thinking about setting up where you can actually game with me and everything. I'll add you on Steam. We'll play some games, maybe Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Wii, Wii U. Xbox 360, I do not uh, show any discrimination towards any gaming product that's out there today as far as consoles because I am, you know, myself a huge gamer. Um, flip side, just giving you guys an update. I had so far two interviews. Uh, they seem to go really, really well. One guy today at a Colorado-owned company here seemed really impressed with my resume and everything like that and I hope I get the job because it's something that I enjoy doing so uh, in conclusion thank you very much for watching subscribing and all that fun stuff and as always you know the drill comment subscribe rate this video click that like button and you guys have a great day now